Zone comme ça, son zone, comme on m'a dit ça, son zone qui était mourie. Là, nous mettons qu'on va y comme ça là, ou à garder, ou même pour qu'on trouve qu'à marcher sous floor, ou essayer de garder le jeu, mon yo. The Haitian government, the Inter-American Development Bank, the U.S. government and private investors have worked together to construct the Caracol Industrial Park. Numerous man-made and natural disasters have for years kept Haiti underdeveloped, especially in areas outside the country's capital, Port-au-Prince. Following the 2010 earthquake, the Haitian government embarked on an effort to decentralize the country's economy and jumpstart industrialization to create jobs along Haiti's northern coast. Industry, in particular, the textile industry, is one that can, you know, bring very quickly a lot of jobs. Obviously, the people of Haiti need jobs. There was a demand for production in Haiti, but a shortage of building shells. In Port-au-Prince itself, many of the buildings that had previously been used in the manufacturing sector had been turned over to warehouses for imported food. Constructed on 242 hectares of government land, the $300 million industrial park is providing thousands of jobs, stimulating the regional economy with correlated business activity and facilitating access to the U.S. market. The Haitian government, the IDB, and the U.S. government are working together to ensure that the right studies have been conducted and safeguards have been put in place to build safer facilities that employ more people, grow the economy, and drive the creation of better infrastructure and capacity. It was a risk worth taking. We have managed it very peacefully, very quietly. In the park, we were able to build the park without any difficulty. But before it could be built, farmers who had been working the land where the park now sits had to be compensated. A waste treatment plant had to be installed to safeguard against pollution, and a 10 megawatt power plant had to come online. In three short years, the electrical plant generates energy not just for the park, but the surrounding area. And the park's tenants now employ thousands of workers in modern, safe, and well-equipped factories. And last year, the Haitian Ministry of Economies Technical Project Execution Unit successfully turned the administrative and human resource management tasks over to SANAPI, the government agency charged with running the country's industrial parks. It is the first of its kind in Haiti. It is the state of the art in this area. We have an integrated industrial park with energy, security, water supply, wastewater treatment plant, we have also the solis with disposal, we have executive housing, we have fire engines, we have ambulances, water transportation, custom offices, environmental supervision, and more. When one thinks about the park, one can imagine the obvious benefits of having the park there. In, first, in terms of generation of, of jobs, around 10,000 by the end of this year, around 20,000 probably by 2020, in very diverse industries within the park, and it's not only textile maquilla, but you also have other industries there. The facility has grown from one textile factory in 2012 to six manufacturing facilities, which include the production of paints, perfumes, and sisal. So those, I, I would say, are the obvious benefits. There are others as well, which are not as easily measurable, but certainly even more important. In first case, the industrial park as an enabler of other industries to, to occur there in the north. When one sees the 1,000 hectares of bananas that today is already exporting into Germany, one has to think that this is, has only been possible because the industrial park has a power plant that allowed for this banana production to take place. Or when one thinks about the number of flights that the airport in Cap Haitian is receiving because of the huge movement generated around the park and in the general in the north of Haiti, well, that makes the airport feasible and convenient. So the park has multiplied its effect way beyond the jobs it's created. One former manufacturing plant owner from Port-au-Prince has even started a cafeteria. As a restaurant, we have to get our food from many different places. So we, get the, we, we source our food from other places. And those places, they employ people. SNH Global was the first company to set up shop, and today they employ more than 7,000 people who sew textiles for some of America's largest apparel retailers. 
been exciting, it's been fun because the people we trained are here as our trainers now. So it's been a great progress for employment and for productivity as well. Caracol workers earn between five to seven US dollars per day, compared to the regional average of about a dollar fifty per day. They are enrolled in the government's health plan and social security programs, they receive two weeks paid vacation, a one-month yearly bonus, and free transportation to and from the facilities, perks which incentivize workers to be more competitive. This factory worker became a floor supervisor in just a few months. <laughs> Someday, she might just end up on the administrative side. They work on compliance issues, um, human resources, they do um, overall management of the factories. We intend to have Haitians involved in all aspects of the company. Not just sewing, not just on the loading dock, not just maybe doing some of the office work, but being mid-level and senior managers in the company. In that way, we're able to pull out, start to ideate, and work on the next venture to create more jobs and, and keep that circle moving. The northern region of Haiti used to be the world's largest producer of sisal, agave plant fibers used in organic rope, twine, and bags. It's making a comeback because nylon isn't biodegradable. Thanks to the revival of this older industry, Sisalco is among the park's tenants. So the demand for sisal is back up again. And uh, so that's creating a big market opportunity for us. It's also good for agriculture and the environment. Before, the 95% was being wasted. And today, all that, that uh, waste is being used. You can make uh, insecticide with the juice, you can make uh, fertilizer with the waste, and you can make biofuel, and uh, you can create biomass to produce methane gas, with which you can produce electricity. Right now, I think we are just about over 30, but in Cisalco in total, we have over 100 people. Each person that, you, that is employed is responsible for us. I would say five to seven people of its family members. So he has a huge impact on the society, on the economy uh, of Haiti. The park is even attracting Haitians who went abroad to study. Sony Toname is a recent graduate of Kent State in Ohio, who came back to Haiti after finishing an accounting internship with Deloitte. At Caracol, he has a chance to transfer knowledge from his accounting studies directly to his own peers. I'm learning about being in the real world. Corporate and interact with people. If I can impact lives on a big scale, life and self manufacturing, it's better than me going alone in this journey. Five years in, they will be able to run their own business because they'll know they would have grown it alongside us. They know everything that we're doing. We get something out of it, they get something out of it, and the country is better for it. The park's importance as a, as a symbol. A symbol that in Haiti, things are possible. That when a big challenge was posed such as this one, five years ago and nobody believed it could be done, well, it is done. And in time and with good quality of construction and has already attracted and, and, and generated uh, uh, lots of interest from investors in, inside Haiti and abroad. They will work up that ladder and start, they will start at uh, apparel assembly, they will move to more complicated types of apparel, they'll do other things, eventually there will be uh, more opportunities. We have the labor, we have the environment, we have a lot of people waiting to be employed, so hey, come here, invest, it's going to be a win-win situation. We're going to be happy, people are going to be working, and we have uh, an economy that, that will grow.